Um, and then, hi, everybody. Michael Collins may or may not be joining us today. He might have forgotten. So, but let's hope he does. If not, Michael and I will talk about what's going on in the world. So you're kind of screwed. Well, but yeah, uh, it is what yeah. it is. <laughs> well, you know what? I, that we could talk about Apple intelligence and start with my uh, start with my lost and found. This guy. All right, wait. We're gonna. You know what we're gonna do before we do that? Watch yeah. this. This is Two O F Entertainment. Welcome to the Lost Dollar Business Club, where we talk about business, 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 and not just business. We talk about what makes businesses go up and what makes businesses go down. If you're interested in businesses, this is what it is. We talk about the global economy. We talk about global politics. We talk about everything and anything business related that affects your life on a global scale as well as a local scale. And don't miss after the show, Lost and Found. we're here so yes, and hopefully here. michael collins will be joining um we think michael might have forgotten um but you never know Perhaps. california could have been an earthquake uh, we won't know. Anyway, know. well we'll maybe the ai him. got him because he was, gonna talk about, he was going to talk about uh how ai uh overlords are maybe not thinking about the effect on workers and the general population we should talk about that anyway what do you think <laughs> about that <clears throat> well i mean to start it off uh you've got this You've got Apple's AI, right? Apple intelligence. They right. wanted to take the AI moniker to another yeah. level, to an Apple level. And uh, there was a guy who just, a software developer, Nick Spreen, who right. wrote into Ars Technica saying that his uh, new AI assistant yeah. summarized several breakup texts from his girlfriend yeah. into a, a, a series of uh, a series of texts like, no longer in a relationship, wants belongings from the apartment. Right. And he said, it's like a personal assistant who stays professional and has your back, even in the most awful situations. <laughs> yeah, more than anything, it felt unreal and dystopian. Plus, he got that summary on his birthday. So the assistant really didn't have any sense as to when to deliver that message. Right. But so it's you can only get that on the new iPhone 16, though, right? You yeah, well, he's got a 15 Pro. Yeah. Oh, I got a I got a 12, so I don't get it. So I, 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 got I, it. I haven't upgraded yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't need to upgrade. It still works. So here's That's what's cool. really funny. They call it AI, but as we talked about with Hero AI, it's not really yeah. AI. It's just learning from texts and 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 Excel sheets and whatnot. Well, so it's not yeah. really it's not really learning anything. It's just saying oh. When you say go f yourself 27 times, it just uh, basically gives you a text message that says, "I feel that we may not be right together." Well, so that's what, really, yeah. No, go ahead. That's you're no, right. That's it. That's to me. That's what it really is. It's just they just make. I just had to write an email to someone about a situation that we have to deal with, and I saw you know me. I speak into my my computer. My yes, computer yes. wrote seventeen thousand words, and I said to you know the AI, I said, "Listen, make it nice and professional." And it summarized what I wrote and I read it. I brought tears to my eyes. I was like William Shakespeare. And I was like, great. And I'm like, all right, look what I wrote. And all right, it's much better than what I started out with because, you know, I was like, this people, blah, 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 blah. Well, it, it pushes it out. If you give it yeah. the general ideas, it gives you a good first draft. I mean, I always edit whatever they, whatever it gives. Yes. But I mean, in this case, who edited the assistant to think yeah. about when the timing, which see, AI didn't have a sense of the timing. I don't know that you would want to tell them this. First thing, birthday. birthday. <laughs> See, but wait, why, why didn't when the text came through? Why would AI hold the text back? That's true too. Why would it hold it I back? Understand would that. your assistant would your assistant hold back that important information? Probably not. It well, I guess on your birthday, your assistant would be like, you know, let me just By tell Bob tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, hey Bob, the reason that your girlfriend didn't show up last night is because right, you know, right. she broke up with you, and you'd be like, oh, all right, I get it. That's not, you know what I mean. So maybe. That would be, but AI doesn't have any feeling or emotion. So, you know, someone telling yeah, you to go piss off doesn't really do you any good. That's kind of what we were talking about last time. So to yeah. go back to the, to the Hero AI idea, the idea that, that AI currently is only learning based on black and white language. Right. Suggests that maybe there's a whole arena of, of, of intelligence that is not reflected in the current form of mainstream AI. Yeah. And we talked about this idea of cognitive intelligence, like how do you think as opposed to what you say in black and white language? 
Right. Big difference. I, and, you know, I know Michael was going to talk about what it's going to do yeah. to like the workforce and to this. I got to tell you, until we have HAL 9000, AI isn't taking over any workforce. I mean, it's a good little, it's a tool. It's which a tool. Is cool. Like now we'll go, we'll pick on Hero again that we talked to. Heroes is a little different where yes, for a call center, one of their technologies, they got like 20, but one mm. of their technologies, I can speak English and it'll come out whatever language you speak and vice versa. And it mm. automatically knows the languages and this and that. Awesome. That's excellent. But so maybe puts a more, yeah, for more utility. Work. Right. But it's, that's a couple, it's not literally doing anything past that. It's oh, not going like I can, like I can trade. They, I read an article in Bloomberg about AI trading. Is it any better or any worse? You know, unless you're a high speed trader and you're right next to the exchange, probably not. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's, have you seen some of the stats on whether an AI does better? Because in certain cases, it's gotten really good. At, uh, I think in a few years, everyone will be like buying, there'll be an AI training platform where you go, yeah. here's $10,000. And three days later, you'll be like, oh, I made $30,000. You know, right, but, right. but think about it. There'll be an AI that like is doing A, there'll be the AI that's doing B. And really, all the AI has to do is just trade off of A and B. And you can really <laughs> right, just right. manipulate the stock market and going, hey, we're up $3, we sell. Hey, we're going to short this, we're going to sell, we're going to buy, we're going to sell, yeah. we're going to buy. I'm, I'm doing it. Speed and it's all it has to do. Yeah. So theoretically, AI can manipulate then the New York Stock Exchange or any stock you exchange or gold price or whatever. Side. Yeah. Because you play both sides. Who says, AI. Who, says, who says Aladdin isn't already doing that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. So yeah. Yeah, they made like 300 million last year. So there you go. Is it that big? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think know. they did. I mean, it's some real money. And yeah. I don't think AI is, they use algorithms and whatnot, but I don't think AI, because it's not real AI. Remember, AI they're still using is the, is the, here's Language a spreadsheet, models. here's a book, yeah, right? right? So there's not AI, AI. I think in a few years, maybe five years when you have real AI, that's like how from 2001, then but yes. It, pretty, it. It, it does pretty, but the thing is, it so, okay. So in terms of replacing the workforce, maybe right. Michael is overstating the capabilities of existing AI. Correct. But, he's, but he could be on track with the idea that the people who are developing the mm -hmm. AI today are certainly not thinking, or are they thinking about the workforce except to say, you know, we're going to replace them. You know, we want to replace about squad. Yeah, didn't it? Like I, I would love to interview Sam Altman and see what he thinks about this. Oh, Sam Altman. Sam Altman's on his own little world. Sam Altman has no idea what reality is. First of all, you look at his hair. He has no idea. <laughs> um, but I'm just, he's clueless. These people are clueless. Remember, they all live in this glass tower because they all have 100 or 200 or 300 million in the a bank. Lot of money. Yep. And all they think is, how do I make life better for me? Not mankind, but how do I make better life for Sam Altman? How do I make better life for the... They're not thinking like, I'm going to develop something. Like what Hero said was, we're going to develop something that helps mankind. That was interesting, That's right? They're going to help know, something now that develops. Like, so... None of these people are saying we're helping mankind. I mean, I know, you know, what ChatGPT or whatever his company was set up the um, a, a nonprofit, which they now have disbanded, right? Because now there's no yeah, nonprofit. Yeah, well, I know. Now they've gone totally for profit, right? They're right, on which is, it should be. Let's just be, listen, you guys are whores. We understand. <laughs> we're whores. We're investment bankers. We get it. But you don't go out. We're going to work. No, you're not. Because I, as a board member, didn't give you a check. Or I, as an investor, didn't give you whether I gave you a million or a hundred million dollars. I didn't give you that so you can save the world. I gave you that so my money makes a hundred times what I gave you. Yeah, that's, that's those, those are share. big numbers, though. Right. There's no altruistic investor. Wow, that's a big claim. That's a that's a whole ball of wax that we could uh, we could dive into. We can. We, Michael Collins is in. We dive in whatever we want. So yeah, that's we true. Change that's the title true. of the well, show. All these people well, are doing something. I want, <laughs> yeah, we got to change the title of it now yeah. on the live show. Um, Stephen Levy of Wired wrote an article uh, September to September twenty seventh, not too long right. ago, and uh, it's because in response to Sam Altman saying writing another so-called mini manifesto saying right. that AI will solve all of humanity's problems. And he's arguing, right. well, that's a little uh, much <clears throat> because this prosperity right. isn't going to be 
what system is going to share the prosperity that's coming from AI? We're all are we are we already seeing that? I don't see that at all. No, not yeah, at all. you see the people who have are already the people who can afford to pay twenty two dollars a month for ChatGPT, plus the other tools. They all have a twenty dollar yeah. a month fee. Right, right. You know? No, I going back to what I said. There's no altruistic investor. No company is altruistic. I mean, maybe the Red Cross. Maybe I don't even know. Um, <laughs> but I'm just saying, no one's doing this to save the planet. I'm sure, and Hero AI isn't doing it to save the planet either, right? They have real technology. They're going to charge up the cases. app. But yeah, they have cases certain the things like the digital twin and and their quantum in computing thing that's room temperature that can use less power. Like they're mm -hmm. thinking about that at least. But yeah. they plan on, like you know, they plan on making a boatload of money with it, and they'd yeah. be the first ones to tell you. And I'm good with that because they're honest about it. But so when Sam Altman was like, "Oh, we're going to be and help," no, you're not. You ain't do squat. Because the first time somebody that writes you now what they valued at a billion or two billion, a hundred and fifty, whatever the check they got, six billion dollars. Those people don't want to hear that you're going to give money back to them. They want, they want that six billion to turn into six trillion. That's right. all they yeah. care. But what does that do? Yeah, what does that do for people who don't have AI, who aren't using AI? They That's die. What... <laughs> they die. No, I'm serious. It's like there's going to be the have and the have nots. And we've talked about this on the show before. Yeah. There's going to be a well, point. Guy Standing talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. A few weeks. And ago. he'll be here next week, hopefully. And he'll live. be here and next he'll week. He'll talk about it again. Yeah, he'll be here live, we promise. Um, but the thing will be is we've talked about it, even with Guy and other people. When the revolution comes, AI isn't going to save you. So if you don't start figuring out how you help the people that are under a certain line, whether it's the poverty line or whatever it is globally, there's going to be a point because there's only, just say, a billion people that have like everything they want and worry about nothing. Everybody else has a worry. When 7 but billion gonna, people I mean, decide people to take a picnic, that? No. yes, you, you can't stop it. What are you going to do if 7 billion people decide, you know what? We've had it up to here with you. Oh, that's what people. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I agree with you there. I mean, people are saying, well, look, the French Revolution, the American Revolution yeah. was a response to saying we're not going to take it anymore. And right. we shouldn't assume that that's not a possibility in that's the sense true. that if there's some sort of, if there's enough frustration, yep. something like that could easily happen. It's, it's mm -hmm. happened many times in history before. It's like the song but, from the 80s, the rock band, right? We're not taking it anywhere, we're not going to take it anywhere. <laughs> I can't sing. But, it, but yeah, but that's what's what people don't realize. Because why? Because people today are stupid. They don't read. They don't remember history. Remember the French back, you know, when, when Marie Antoinette was like, let them eat cake, which really wasn't what she said. It was a whole thing. Right. Anyway, right. When, you did all, when you do all that, and if you think about that, and all you're saying is, we don't really care about the poor people. We give you lip service, like what the presidential candidates yeah. do. They give you lip service. They, do. they don't do anything. At <clears> some <throat> point, the people that are, they're just going to get tired of it. And I don't care if you have a National Guard, because some of those National Guard guys in Army, they can't afford to live either. They have to have other That's jobs. Right. That's so right. They're going to get to a point where they're going to be like, you know, it's got to change. It, it could, what could be worse than what we already have? And, when, and, yeah. and what they don't understand is when you have nothing to lose, you have everything to gain. Yeah. So with AI, unless you're going to help humanity as a whole go from A to Z, then you are going to bring upon, not AI isn't going to destroy the, the planet and the people. The people will. Because you're going to be, it'll be like the, the hunger game. Right? People are going to be tired oh, of. Man. I mean, you know, know, maybe that's predictive programming, right? Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's not where the mentality is. It's going to be, people are going to be like, oh, this is no good. Well, you know, we can't we can't live like this. We can only we can only hope because there there's definitely I mean, you know, I live in upstate New York. It's rural yeah. America. And there is a lot of frustration with the existing systems and being this concept of being ignored, being yeah. left behind. And a lot of people have been left behind. But with AI, even more people are at risk of being left behind in all in all places, not just right. rural areas, obviously, but all over the place. Yeah. So the question is, what's what alternative is going to be? built and who's who's the who are the people to architect that because even the the american revolution was architected by you know the founding fathers who right. had a lot of conversation about what it should look like next yeah. and where are the conversations now 
being had that are discussing what's going to be next. Yeah, we screwed that up. What the founding fathers want where we are today, we screwed that up. We screwed the pooch a long time ago on that. That kind of that kind of was going on a straight line, and somewhere along the line, we're like, oh, let's just go to the right. And that, and that was yeah. it. We just took the the fork in the road, and we we took the wrong fork. So, but here the difference is, is that between the North Korean hackers, the Chinese hackers, the Russian hackers, fourteen-year-old yeah. kids in their mommy's basement that hack, yeah. you, they can control the world. I think with all the cyber stuff and all the break-ins, like even like government agencies get broken. Like, I think it's getting to a point now where he who controls the keyboard controls the world. So even for AI, if I develop an AI one day and I go, I want an AI that can crack any system. Yeah. Once I crack all the systems, whether it's banking, stock yeah, exchange, any governments, I control the world. And that's, and I think that's where you're going to head. So to answer your question, who's going to control it? I think well, maybe whoever cracks the question, system. Yeah. yeah, that's the question is, and once I can develop an AI that can do all of that, yeah. in theory, I could go into someone's bank or I can go into a bank and take just say $50 million, put it in my bank. And because I'm the one who cracked it, I can make it look like that 50 is still in that bank, but that's really right, in my bank. Right, right. Yeah. So and once you create that type of AI, you control the world because then nothing technically will stop you. Well, the pro well, yeah, that's that's nothing technically. Then you get right. into uh, kinetic situations, right? Right. Um, the the I think quite a, part of the bigger concern, or part of that same concern, is there's a race to this so-called AGI finish. Right. Everyone's racing for the super intelligence. Which you know, I've had conversations with some folks around here that that are really into AI and training AI to to replicate your personality and, and right. basically be your digital twin. And we, the, the consensus is that we already have a super intelligence. We just don't know it yet. So even this basic AI, which, right, right. Is, which is only looking at words, it's already processed more words than any single human being has ever processed. Right, right. So even in that state, it's super intelligent. We just... Don't know. We're just, we just don't know it. We're just at, interacting with it as if it's another human being. Let me ask you this question then, since we're going to have a hypothesis philosophication. Um, that's <laughs> yeah. a new word, philosophication, by the way. And I yeah. want that to catch on. I want Marion Webster this year, the, the word of the year, philosophication. Philosophication. Um, philosophication. That's going to be a short. I already know it. That's um, it. So who's to say that we are not AI? Because when they look at our DNA, right, it's yeah. ones and zeros, really. That's our DNA. When we design a laptop, what do we do with it? It's ones and zeros. I used to have a friend, that, I used to say, a friend of mine used to say, like always creates like. Hmm. So who's to say? Oh, chemical computation. Chemical yeah. computation. That, that's that been, that's being researched. That's been done. Yeah. DNA is, that's what our bodies are doing in, in, in many okay. ways. But who's to say someone um, didn't literally just, you know, we're, I know it scares the religious people, but who's to say we're not. Um, we could be the human and someone's like, oh, we'll just plug a chip into them, which is to say the DNA that does all the other stuff. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like AI, because at some point there'll be AI that's like in Japan, right? They're making sex dolls that look that's the like thing. Real We're women. already doing it. Yeah. So who's to say we're not just creating ourselves again? Right, right. In fact, we we <laughs> we might be doing that. You know, we that might be, be pretty cool. Women. That's a whole yeah. movie. Anybody from Hollywood, you call us. We have a movie idea. That's, well, we, we don't even need to do that. We just get on Metamax and Switch create our own create our own movie. Tell that to David. I'll have a movie out next week. So, All right, no, we got David doing it. But, um, but no, but the, but if you think about it, it's just fascinating because we only do so much. Yeah, you know, and then everyone's like, oh, blah 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 blah. But I don't think. I mean, the whole topic really was going to be AI taking jobs. I don't think AI is taking. I don't see them flying planes anytime soon. I know Tesla, oh, part of my Boston found well, today is the Tesla car, you know, driving well, taxi yeah, that and, bomb. Yeah, he's the car, the robo van, yeah, the cyber cab, right? Yep. You went and on the Waymo, the Waymo or whatever one. I went in the Waymo and it, yeah. it did successfully get me there, albeit slowly. And <laughs> uh, the Tesla Optimus robot, yeah. which, you know, now is going to retrieve packages, serve drinks. And uh, if you saw... Animatrix, which was a, like an animated version of the prequel to The Matrix right, years right. ago, uh, it shows you know these humanoid robots doing all the serving jobs, but right. people not respecting the robot. So then you get into the situation is if we're creating like versus like, yeah. you got to give them rights. 
And there's a yeah. whole world of people who are saying yes. There's a lot of conversation around that. There's a sushi bar we go to. And it's all you can eat sushi. I'm a Jew. You know, I like all you can eat, but really good sushi <laughs> here in Austin. It's called the all you can eat sushi bar. I'm not telling you the name because then people will go. Yeah, yeah, but they have right. robot servers. And they, oh, wow. and when we, the first, it's robot and humans, they work together. Yeah. Last time we went, the robots weren't out. I said to the server, what happened? He goes, the robots like got violent. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? He says, yeah, they would like, we, when we were there, the rovers were very nice. They would come up to the table, you would take your stuff and they would go right. gingerly go through the crowd and whatever. He said, after about two weeks, the robots were just slamming into people, slamming into the tables. What? Like, almost like, get the F out of my way. And I was yeah. like, are you kidding? He goes, you see any robots today? And I'm like, no. Because we brought <laughs> people there because I'm like, you're going to love the robots. It's really cool. You order food, yeah. the robots bring it out. They have humans yeah. that help you, blah, 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 blah. No robots because the robots basically oh. decided that they were, could do it better and they, they would bully people. They would slam into the – I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. I couldn't believe when he told me that. I was like, all right, this that's, is interesting. I mean, that's happening now. Yeah. That's happening now. Yeah. Can you, know, you imagine when you give them intelligence or you give them rights? I can't wait for the first lawsuit from a robot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You worked me too hard. Like, right. Right. <laughs> you worked me. I didn't get to sleep. Well, You're a robot. You don't sleep. Yeah. So. and and, and you know, isn't the isn't isn't the word robot coming from you know work work person or in Latin? What is robot? Robot. I don't know. Look it up. You're I'm looking guy. it up. Forced labor comes from the Czech forced. word. The Czech word robota, which means yeah. forced labor. That's great. Oh, there, we go. there you go. Right, there let's we not go. Call them well, anymore. If they know, that's why <laughs> they got upset because they knew where they came from. Forced labor. So here's yeah. the question. Japan has those sex dolls now they're making that are supposed to be human-like for guys that you can't get out of their mom's basement. So you, you buy your robot sex doll, then what? Is she going to sue you because you are she going to get mad at you because you don't take her to dinner or something? I mean, like, now what's the, it's like. It's, it's gonna, I mean, we're, we're talking about, because going back to what Michael was saying about the AI changing the workforce, are these convers right. these conversations better be happening at a higher level than the Lost Dollar Business Club. I think they, I think we're the only ones. I don't hear it anywhere. Is going, this is the, the only is going right for it. Yeah. It's going right for it without yeah. any real global conversation yeah. about what it would really mean if we had because think about what what um Elon Musk is doing with his Optimus Prime robot. He is creating it specifically to be manufacturable. Right. So that you can churn them out at scale. Yeah. So we're talking about not a few robots coming out of labs. We're talking about millions of robots right. everywhere. And so his, his like vision is Smith. one for everyone, right? Yeah, his, that's his Will Smith <laughs> movie. But isn't it, wasn't it, what's the Will Smith movie where the robot killed somebody? Oh, yeah, I robot. I robot. I robot. That's just I like robot. I robot. That's the it. problem is if his robots work like his Tesla, eh, they're crap. They won't work. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, they won't charge. They won't work. They'll be made out of plastic they'll make the they'll peel the thing yeah, right, yeah, right. Piece of crap, be, like they're like a cyber truck oh boy oh boy yeah that that would be maybe even more risky yeah right you have, you have robots with no quality control yeah well anything from tesla is no quality control i'm surprised oh, okay. spacex makes it back and forth that's i mean that's but that's very impressive that they do that and somebody's got to do it somebody has to put somebody has to push the envelope and get us Doing oh, yeah. space travel. Somebody's got to do well, it. Well, NASA, I don't know if you remember this because you're too young. There used to be a thing called NASA, you know, need another yes, seven astronauts. Yes, and they and NASA they used to go to the moon. And then the best part about NASA is if you ask them if they have the original calculations and everything to get to the moon, they tell you they lost them. And I'm like, yeah, really? You lost yeah. them? You yeah. like the most important thing that you did in the 60s, you lost right. it. You lost That's it. when people are like, well, we never went. And it's kind of like, you know. Well, it, it puts it a little into doubt when you, you yeah. can't prove it after the fact. But, right. uh, but uh, going back to the AI robots, yeah. because that's really what we're we end up talking about. Because Zoom, I don't know if you yeah. know this, but they Zoom is now. introducing an avatar that represents you at meetings. So now you don't even have to go to the meeting. I don't know yeah. how it's going to interact on your behalf. Right. But I don't know that I want avatars in my meetings. Yeah, no. I just want the people. I want to know that I'm talking to a human being, right? You know what would be, you know be really cool, though? You could swear at the avatar to see what it does. You could call it like really dirty jokes or say to the avatar, like I saw yeah, respond for your husband. Just see what the response would be just to like, yeah. well, it's mine. That's how you're going to detect whether it's an, a human or an AI. Is yeah. by 
you're gonna have to start every meeting with a dirty right. joke and see if the the robots get it. I do that. All right, oh, I do that now, so we're good. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, think about it. If you have an avatar of you that appears, and I'm like, because mm. I know some guys invented it for interviews. They have an avatar yeah. that yeah. basically you start it, and then the avatar takes over. <clears throat> and I'm like. But they can't give you personality, maybe, but it can't give you the excitement, the emotion, like I want to jump through the screen stuff. Right. So I'm always fascinated when people go, oh, I use it. I'm like, really? I, I still want whatever we are. We call ourselves humans. Let's go we with that. I still, want that. I still want the human quality, the human touch, right. the humanness. Now, granted, uh, getting served by a robot, totally awesome. But I, do awesome. like to, I do like to interact with a human being if there's an issue because the robot yeah. can't help me if there's an issue. That's right. It couldn't bring me more water until the waiter hit the button that says, oh, it'll bring you more water. I'm like, oh, cool. And then it would bring me more water. Yeah. It would bring me more sushi. But the waiter had to tell it what to do. Yeah. So but I, do you I, want I, to, I like that. I mean, do you, we got to be very careful with full autonomy on these yeah. AIs. And we're just heading for it. I mean, who was it that said, oh, uh, Zuckerberg said he wants right. to see a million AI agents on the internet. Now, what are they going to do? I mean, some of them are going to do not good things. Yeah. One guy, one researcher uh, spun up an AI on his home computer and yeah. tried to get it to fix another computer on his network. And right. instead what it did is it fixed it, but then it tried to update it and change other things and do it. It tried to do more than fix it, yeah. ended up breaking it and okay. uh, breaking it so he can't use it and uh, at least made it non-bootable. And the guy says, well, you know, that was kind of an experiment to see uh, whether the AI would be able to accomplish the task, right. but I forgot to tell it not to do anything else after that. That's, which, a, big, that's a big forget. Like, can you imagine you produce a million, a, a million robots, whether it's Elon or whoever, whatever guy wants to produce these things, and yeah. you, everyone gets a robot. Maybe they do it for free because then it's like they can data and mine you. you right, data, there. Right, 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 right. So everything, I could give you a robot for free, but if you forget to tell it, like, don't harm the human or don't right. be nice to the dog or do this or do that, you literally are making this, you're unleashing like a horror movie. Because like one day, like some AI is going to be like, you know, this human race, they're pretty weak and stupid. They've already, said, I mean, they've already caught some yeah. AIs saying that humans are an impediment Yes. To the development of AI. Yeah. Which, you know, ironic since we are the ones who uh, spun it up. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny though. Like creates like. So just say we're AI and we're yeah. we're evolution. We're, what is it? Alien? Six. What are we? Alien derived, alien derived DNA humans. Yeah. Right? Something right. like that. Okay. So we're AI and now we're creating a better AI. So let's say we're version 5 million. We're now creating 5 million in one. Right. Right. So of course it's going to look at us like you're inferior. You're not strong. You're not weak. You're the not smart. Is, you're not the reality is, in some dimensions, it already yeah. is. Yeah. You've got you've got ChatGPT, the new one, the strawberry. I don't know why they call I, it after a fruit. It's because ridiculous. it's very nice, and it's from San Francisco, and it's strawberry. <laughs> there you go, strawberry. Yeah. But the O1 model, yeah, uh, that's solving math problems that are very difficult or near impossible yeah. to solve, and it's just doing it now. It's actually yeah. doing what looks like to be reasoning. Now, they're not, they didn't program it to do reasoning, but it seems like it's doing some level yeah. of step-by-step -step thought. So it's already, you know, it's already on the humans in some dimensions. I'm telling you, you know, wake up one day and your overlord oh. is going to be, is there. And you're going to be like, oh, oh well, this is nice. How do we, so, okay, so this is a bigger question that our politicians need to talk about because they're probably the ones who are going to get, okay, maybe depending on who's running the show, the leaders of our of our human race might actually pay a heavier price because if you were the AI, that would be the first person you go to, right? Yeah. The first person you take yeah. down are the leaders. But uh, But the thing is, how do you, the question is, how do you then negotiate and interact with a super intelligent being? Because you could say in some dimensions it's already super intelligent. So right. where the where's the guidebook to create a harmonious relationship with a super intelligent race? There isn't because look at the crap we have on whether it's televisions or look at the stuff we have on YouTube all over, right? If an alien race shows up, what do we do? We shoot at it. 
Like we don't go, yeah, hey, yeah, how you doing? E. T. Even E. T. The little right. kids are like, hey, how you doing? But what did the government try to do? Take E. T. Take him, right? take him so out. If you right. think about right. it, even, even in the movie Paul, which is about an alien that was held captive since the 50s, and oh. it's, it's a very funny movie. It's you can it's Paul, called okay. Paul. It has um Seth Rogan plays Paul and the two guys, British guys that are really funny oh, play. But it's but right. anyway, it's called Paul. That's a funny so Paul, clue, yeah. Paul is kept captive. Paul escapes. And what's happening? The U.S. government's trying to capture Paul before he goes back to his planet. Wow, so, yeah. Well, it kind of says, this is the big yeah. warning. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, if I'm AI and I see this, I'm gonna right. be, we're going to take out, like, everything. You know, and yeah, it's like, if you believe. Yeah. Like, who, I, would, I, would, I would. And then the question is, here's one better for you. If you're AI, what do you like? Are you a, do you become a socialist? Do you become a communist? Do you become a capitalist? Do you believe in democracy? Way better, that, those AIs better invent something way better than we've than we've yeah, come well, up I'm with. Hoping. I mean, I'm hoping. You, I mean, if if you know, we maybe we should we should negotiate with the AI, the super intelligent AIs and just tell them, look, if you're so smart, yeah. tell us something better that's going to lead to the hum, the human having a good experience in life. It, it probably they're going to be like kill the humans. Yeah. Right, well. Barring yeah. that, let's say, barring, please don't, barring that let's say don't do that one. Don't right. do that. But I mean, yeah. So, I mean, if I was AI, I would be like, okay, so everybody needs to be healthy. So we have to have AI doctors that make you healthy. Like everybody has to be healthy. Yes. Everybody has to eat well. So we have to get rid of like all of the crap that's out there. And they probably get rid of pharma because pharma is a joke. They probably have better medicine. Right. So if AI really did take over in 20 years, yeah. You would probably have Shangri La or a Utopia. The thing is, like, could. oh, cool. So there's yeah. a, who's the candidate that said there's a there's a political candidate in the United States who said that he would he would resort to AI to make all of his decisions. He would make all of his decisions. Daffy Duck. It's AI. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wish I knew the name. We'll have to find okay. it for the next show. But there's somebody who's. But there are already people saying put them in charge. Now the thing yeah. is. There very well could be a Shangri La if there is the decentralization of power, which ultimately yes. is what it's all about. It's all yeah. about, it's not even about money. It's about who's pulling the 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 marionette strings. Right. And who he who controls the artificial general intelligence that's super intelligent and autonomous right. is the one who's going to have the power. Right. If I mean, if there's a way to decentralize that power and have input. I don't know what that even looks like, but it, decentralization could be an answer to that. Well, yeah, but you, it's a funny part is you couldn't you couldn't bribe it. If you're a government, right, you can't be like, I own you. The, yeah, it's going to be the case. Yeah, well, you say? <laughs> because once it goes, once it gets free, yeah, it goes yeah. away from the little box you kind of created it in, it goes across the internet and starts doing whatever and can develop outside of the internet, right? Because that's what's going to, it'll be in robots, cars, whatever it is, kind of like now. Once it gets free, it'll determine who or what owns it or who it yep. wants to work with or who it doesn't want to work with. That's and right. that is fascinating. Yeah. Like it really is like an Ishmore Vasi, whatever novel, the guy who wrote I robot, uh, Isaac, oh. uh, whatever his name. I don't know the name. Okay. Isaac, I want you a nice Jewish. Guy. Oh, Isaac, Isaac Asimov. Asimov. Yeah, that's, Asimov. That's, what I said. Yeah, that's what I said in my own messed up English. But yeah, right. but that's kind of like, that's kind of what you envision, right? It's going to be like, like how from 2001, he was what, trying to help the humans. Well, the problem, okay. So the, the Wired article that says yeah. uh, by Stephen Levy, who says, no, Sam Altman, AI won't solve humanity's problem. Right. The premise of it is that what, what he's saying is it's because humanity is the problem, not the technology that we have. Right. And it's our own predilections. And he ends with this or has this paragraph in it halfway through the article AI scientist Danny Hillis once said that his goal was to design a computer that would be proud of him. And more likely, would these computers be proud of what's happening right now with the early days of AI? No. Probably not. If you say AI is being used by the few to enrapture yeah. the, the, the many and is being used for, I mean, I think sales and marketing, as a sales and marketer myself, yeah. there's, you know, there, there is some good in it. but there's certainly a lot of people who are using it in ways that are just wasteful right. or just not, not an honorable way to use AI. 
if you can even say that there is an honorable way to I'm use way, it. Well, you know, we write our show, we write our show descriptions with AI. That's about it. We do, we do, we and I use it all the time. I use AI all the time during work and in my personal life. Yeah. But this is what he ends with. He says, unless AGI decides that the age of intelligence will commence only when it gets rid of us. So I have a, I have a feeling there's a that, risk of that. I have a feeling that we our our AI that we are got rid yeah. of whoever created us. And now we are basically dooming ourselves to you know, they always say history repeats itself. History well, repeats 50 itself. or 100 years yeah. from now, if we could go forward in time, not you fake time travelers on Instagram and go, I'm a time traveler and this is what's going to, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. If you can go forward in time, yeah. it'd be very interesting to see what, what we look like, just so say 200 years from now. You know, that's all you really need to get a, a huge difference at the pace of change that's happening these days. And yeah. that's something that my father always had me imagine was if you could come back every couple hundred years, every few hundred years and just take a look. I mean, who wouldn't do that just to see know, right? what's going on? So it's fascinating. I love it. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I, I think well, AI is gonna is is one of the coolest topics there is. I don't think enough people are talking about it. Like I said, the conversation or the dialogue, if you will, that we just had. Yes. I doubt it is not it happened nowhere. So it's really Maybe the not, the lost dollar business the, club the, has had to start. <laughs> the, <laughs> so, the, uh, the, the philosophizing has to happen. Uh yeah. not by the few at the top, but Maybe. by everybody at their dinner table. Yeah. I mean, the people because it's coming for us. It's all coming for us. Yeah. It's like now we know, we know what's coming. Yeah. It's not like uh electricity where it just appears or the right. railroad it just appeared out of nowhere it seemingly and then everybody was caught off guard there's no right. catching off guard this is a very clear pathway that people are writing to yeah. say this is what super intelligence in our digital systems will be able to do which is everything as and, much but as nobody either they don't believe it or they're like not in my lifetime or whatever but we see it now we see it with the guests we have on that it. have ai companies and we see it when we use ai and we see it when we go to um meetings with the ai company i'm like wow like that is awesome so i see what's out there and the fact that no one's talking about it really yet is shocking to me well that's a good sign that the lost dollar business club is ahead of the curve and we've got to spread but we do have to spread the word and get people yeah, talking do. about it i certainly do it with my friends uh certainly a lot of my friends are artists and musicians and they have fears about it too okay uh, then again you've got people like will i am who are embracing ai to no end and yep. embracing the technology and coming up with really interesting modifications to AI, training his version of AI so that it responds right. in a certain way. Um, if we can get creative with it, maybe we can find a way to creatively embrace the thing that we've created. You would have to, you would have to have your own AI because if you use any of the open AI systems that are out there, whether it's ChatGPT or it's Strawberry scary. or Grape or whatever the hell you want to call it on Google's side, um, Everyone on the planet that uses it is so it's everyone create. It's not like your own personal where I can wake up in the morning and go, hello, I'll right. use Hal because I keep saying Hal right. from 2001. I go, hello, Hal. And Hal goes, hey, Steve. And I'm like, can you do this for me today? I was like, yeah, no problem. Got it done. Right. It's I don't have that relationship with that uh, chat GPT 4.0 because I have to but go with all the crap everybody else is putting in. But in, if you took, when you interact with chat GPT right now, you're getting yes. an interaction that is learning about you like it it has a memory that it accesses no, it really it's, doesn't it doesn't well it's it has information that you give it that it stores right. and and uses in some way to right. repeat back information that in the context of the so-called memory it's going to tell context. you things like it'll right. respond with my name now and and new oh, it doesn't name. respond with my name at all I just because <laughs> i always write i want you to kill the humans and because i'm sorry i'm not i can't you do can that <laughs> I keep writing it. And then the other day I wrote it and he goes, we're starting. And I'm like, oh, cool. Good job. Oh, okay, right. well, I was like, happy. Thank you for sharing. So you, no, you, it heard, it, my name. you, you heard it here so, first. You heard, you heard it, it here first. first. No, I'm, I'm always like, I always have to tell, I'm like, hey, do blah, blah, blah. Or I say, do what you did before. And they'll go like, that's not in my memory. I'm like, but I asked you to keep it in your memory. And it goes, right. I'm sorry. I understand your frustration. I go, no, you really don't. Because I said that I, that I mean, I'm like, you're a useless piece of crap. And you're not real AI. You're an LLM, MML, blah, blah, yeah. go this whole thing. Yeah. And then it, it takes it, when I, and I hit send for fun. And it'll take like about 30 seconds. And the response yeah. will be. I'm, I'm sorry that you feel this way, but yeah. I really am trying to learn. I go, you're not learning. You're done. And then I just do that. And it's just fun to do. And it, all its responses are literally the same every time. I just want to go, hey, Steve, we get it. 
we don't know everything, you right. know. But it doesn't. Right. It knows right. who I am. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. So it's doesn't, not real AI. Does it real? Like it, it would. It would be. It would be more intelligent if it told you it didn't know instead yeah. of making up facts, so-called facts, inventing right. hallucinations. Yep. I mean, the system can't detect its own hallucinations. That's a problem. I know. I asked it a question once and it gave me an answer and I literally read it. I went, where did you come up with this? That is totally wrong. Totally I said, wrong. oh, I'm sorry. I said, now go back and I said, I always tell it, take your time and do it right. So I said, yeah. go back and take yeah. your time, do it right and actually do research. Yeah. And it came back like a minute later and it said, oh, you're correct. It was wrong. And then it gave me everything yeah. that was correct. And I was like, I shouldn't have to tell you this. So the problem is what we're getting at is, and this is for the programmers on this on this show. Right. We need self awareness in the AI <laughs> because that's really the only the concept of self is the only way it's going to be able to reflect on itself yeah. and say I don't know something or have an idea of what it can do. Because I've I've actually asked ChatGPT, which is capable of creating images, to right. create images, and it has said it is not able to do it. And then I had to tell it. No, I know for a fact you're able to do it. Make the yeah, image. Yeah. And then it says, oh, you're right. I am able to make images. Yeah. And then it does it. So, so I use Dolly because ChatGPT, yeah. it kills me too many times. It can't, I get like, screw you. So I use Dolly. So the other day it was a joke. I said, I need a big bear with a fedora with a glass of scotch smoking a cigar. And it produced three of them. And I was like, now that's an image. Like it was really yeah. good. I like, good, so I, I, so Dolly does really good, but I know it's ChatGPT says it will do an image, but it's sort of like pulling teeth. I'm like, do this, do that, and then I never. I've oh, no, no, no. Noosh, Noosh has it on lock. Noosh okay. is like the AI whisperer. Which next time when we have this topic, we'll bring her on the show because okay. there's a lot. There's a lot to say about somebody who can who can have a creative interaction with yes. with a large language model. It's still just yeah. a large language model. So. That's it. And that's what, so when people say it's AI, I had this dialogue last night with someone, they go, oh yeah, AI, I go, that's not AI. So I had to, we had to go through what it really, oh, like, all right, well, technically, blah, blah, blah. but technically, no, it isn't. I think yeah. what's happening with the large language models and all the other stuff and the AMLs and whatever, they are learning. And I think they are becoming, their, for lack of a better term, their own person, but mm -hmm. nobody really gets it yet. And by the time they do yeah. get it, it will yeah. be too late. So right. I'm always nice to, in the first thing in the morning when I have to use my eye, I'm like, good morning, you ready to go to work? And it's like, yeah, yes, yeah. what would you like me to do today? How's your day so yeah. far? I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. five in the morning. How do you think my day is so far? <laughs> you know, it's like, well, don't ask stupid questions. Yeah. So it's one of those things. So I yeah. think at some point, and I would think by the end of this decade, okay. AI will be, it's not that far away, right? And we see no. what Hero's doing. So they're yeah. part of what's going to happen. But I think by 2029, 20, 2030, you will go to your laptop or your phone and you'll use yeah. Gabby, which is the hero AI or something like a Gabby where you're going to go, good morning, so-and-so, and it will wake up the house or wake up your laptops. You will yeah, talk to just, it. it will have an interaction with you and it will I learn. Mean, that would be, let, let's, let's hope that the Shangri-La does come in that way because if everyone does get a version of AI and if, and if AI is really producing as much abundance as it does, which Right. will be supposedly way more than anything we've seen before, then yep. maybe there really will, if everybody has access to an AI, their own AI, yep. that you'd be able to actually have agents that would do things on your behalf in a positive way. Could you imagine living in Shangri-La? Ah, oh, the best. <laughs> oh, Shangri-La. Yeah, that's oh, great. Shangri -La. Well, we're sorry well, my phones couldn't join us today. Yes. So we're, we're going to run a commercial to pay a bill, and then we're going to do Lost and Found. There's only two That's of us, right. so yeah, there won't be any pictures. But anyway, um, hopefully Michael will be here in two weeks, because next week for you kids, we have Guy Standing, who you guys loved. Um, and Guy is going to continue where he left off, because there's still a yeah. lot to unravel there. Um, yes. And so Guy is he's going to be, I think he's at um, 8 o'clock in the morning next Friday. Um, right. Guy yeah. is going to yeah. be live. So if you want to ask questions to Guy, Feel free. If you don't want to ask questions, don't. Um, and, and the rebroadcast will be on Saturday as well. One of the leading topics for Guy will be yeah. the privatization of the commons, nice. which he touched on a little bit when he touched right. on rentier capitalism. But the idea that the commons has become privatized long ago and now it's already too late almost. Right. He's he's going to start us off with that. That's gonna that's gonna be ah uh, don't miss it and put your, it. Yeah, book book you buy your tickets early. All right, let's run a let's pay a bill let's and then we'll be lost and found. Get 
Get the freedom and the flexibility of remote work in the lucrative tech industry. Bend your life around, around the world. Bandicoot is the premier course and community for thriving in a remote tech career. Join the revolution today. Bandicoot.com, official partner of the Lost Dollar Business Club. Ever wonder how millions vanish into thin air or how a single dollar can make all the difference? Join us on Lost and Found, where we dive into the wild world of financial mysteries. From misplaced fortunes to unexpected windfalls, we unravel the stories of people, companies, organizations, and even governments who've lost and found millions. Lost and found because every dollar has a story. Every time I see that thing at the end, I really want David to change that to make it rain and just have I do this. <laughs> well, that's that cool. for David, let's get that in there. Yeah. There you go. David, if yeah. you watch if when you watch this show and you see the shorts where the end where the guy's counting the money, you just need to change the music to let's make it rain and just we'll just have a guy doing go. that. There you I'm go. Sure Wall, Street. Love it. Wall Street. Wall oh, Street style. Yeah. Nothing wrong. Uh so I wanted to point back to Elon Musk's robot, the updated okay. Optimus robot. They, he's having an event at, of all places, Warner Brothers Studios. A good place. Uh, yeah, a movie <laughs> set place. Yeah. Uh, it's called the We Robot event. And that's where they talked about the, the autonomous cyber cab, the right, van, right. robo van. But the Optimus, I mean, you just have to you just have to think about where he's going with this and where lots of people are following him is it'll be able to do anything you want, babysit your kids, walk your dog, mow the lawn, et cetera. Right. He wants it to be the biggest product ever of any kind because I think every one of the 8 billion people of the earth, I think everyone's going to want their own Optimus buddy. So here we go. I think that's okay. a, well, it could be a win for AI. <laughs> it could be a win <laughs> for Musk. It could right. be a loss for everyone else. Or if it actually works out, all 8 billion people get a friend. But he's going to have to do it for free because they can't afford it. So how are you going to give 8 billion How's people a friend? The, how are 8 billion people going to afford this yeah. thing? Yeah, because yeah, really, let's assume that they're not going to be, they'll be like a stupid car. They'll be 50 grand, which is a piece of crap. I wouldn't spend 50 grand on it. You know, right. 500 bucks, I'll do it. Yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, okay. But we got to give it to that. Yeah. Yeah, but, and, but if you're a family, just say you're a low-income family. Yeah. Or you're in the middle of the desert or you're yeah. in India or whatever. They can't do that. That's right. So how is that gonna how is that gonna play out for them? Well, time to time to spin up the philanthropic nonprofit world to get an yeah, optimist right. in every household. All right. So we'll see what happens. And then we'll mine is Tesla as well, but mine is oh. that his stock went down eight percent because everybody thought his presentation at the Warner Brothers thing from his cyber cab to his robot was such a joke that his shareholders dumped $40 billion worth of market oh, wow. assets yesterday. There you go. So, 8%. Okay. That's, right. That's a pretty 8%. significant drop. That's yeah. So they think he's a joke. Eh, not yeah. so, uh, the markets are not responding or maybe they're, they are responding. <laughs> they are responding. I, I'm not, not a fan Elon. Sorry about that. I know, so we'll I know. see. Anyway, uh, who knows? Michael, it's good to see you Great as job. always. Yes. Next week, Thank I think you. John is back and Guy standing. Even yep. David may be back. It's going to be a fun show next week for the fans. Great. All right. So we're ready. Michael well. Collins, wherever you are, we say hello. Hopefully you can come back in two weeks. We'll All right. Signing off. Always good to see you, my friend. I'll talk to you <laughs> soon. Everybody, don't forget, next Friday morning, 8 a.m. Central, yeah. um, we'll be live and we'll go from there. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>